Boeing Starliner arrived at the ISS on June 6, delivering NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams to the orbiting lab on a shakeout cruise known as Crew Flight Test. Starliner was supposed to return to Earth on June 26, but is facing unexpected delays due to thruster issues. Starliner is a crucial part of NASA's commercial crew program, designed to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Originally scheduled for June 26, the Starliner's return to Earth was highly anticipated after its successful launch to the ISS on June 5, 2024. However, the return has been postponed due to thruster problems. These thrusters are essential for maneuvering the spacecraft during its descent and landing phases. According to reports, the issue lies in the spacecraft's propulsion system, specifically related to valves and the reaction control system thrusters. This delay underscores the complexities of space missions and the rigorous testing required for each component. Safety is paramount, and NASA and Boeing are working together to resolve these issues before attempting re-entry. Both Boeing and NASA have acknowledged the delay and are actively troubleshooting the problem. This collaboration reflects the robustness of the partnership in ensuring crew safety and mission success. Moving forward, engineers will continue to analyze the thruster issue and conduct thorough tests to ensure that the Starliner can safely return to Earth on the 26th of June. Despite setbacks, delays like this are part of the learning process in space exploration. It's crucial to address issues on the ground to ensure the safety of astronauts and the success of future missions. But talking about the overall Boeing mission and all the technical problems and delays that occurred, right in the start, the test flight for Boeing Starliner on 7th of May was called off just two hours short of launch, after a pressure regulation valve in the Atlas V rocket which was to carry the capsule on its debut voyage, conked out. The two astronauts had been strapped to their seats for an hour before the launch was shelved. Boeing was awarded the contract for ferrying astronauts to the ISS, along with Elon Musk's SpaceX by NASA, who wanted to shift the task of shuttling crew to and from the ISS over to private agencies in 2010. NASA had given contracts for technology demonstration, plus six operational flights to both the firms. SpaceX was able to demonstrate its first successful crewed test flight in 2020 itself, after which it started regular service to the ISS. SpaceX completed its sixth successful operational flight in September 2023 and got a contract extension of three more flights by NASA. SpaceX Crew Dragon, carrying the eighth batch of astronauts for NASA, is currently docked to the ISS. On the contrary, Boeing is still on its technology demonstration stage, limping behind SpaceX by four years and scrambling to get its crewed vehicle off the ground. If all goes well this time, Boeing will become the second private firm after SpaceX to transport crew to and from the ISS. The first uncrewed flight of Boeing Starliner was supposed to take place in 2015 and the first crewed one in 2017. But things hardly went as planned for Boeing. The first uncrewed flight itself got delayed because of a series of setbacks from 2015 to finally when its launch happened in May 2022. Though successful, questions were later raised about the craft's cooling system, the safety of its wiring, and issues with the parachutes, leading to further delays in the crewed launch. Starliner is 5 meters tall, at 4.6 meters wide, Starliner is slightly roomier than the Apollo capsule that took the first men to the moon, as well as the SpaceX Crew Dragon, both of which measure 4 meters in diameter. The Starliner Crew module can house up to 7 people, but will generally be ferrying 4 astronauts with room for up to 100 kilos of cargo when it begins regular flights. The Crew capsule is reusable with the capacity to fly up to 10 times. During the approximately six days the Starliner will be docked to the ISS, Williams and Wilmore, two among NASA's most experienced astronauts, will test seats, onboard life support and navigation systems, and also analyze the system that shifts cargo to the ISS. In addition, they will also be testing brand new spacesuits, Boeing's blue suit which they claim to be 40% lighter and more flexible than earlier suits. One innovative feature in these spacesuits is that they're equipped with touchscreen-sensitive gloves, 
so that the astronauts can work with tablets in the spacecraft. Unlike previous U.S. crewed capsules which re-entered Earth by splashing down in the sea, Starliner is anticipated to land on ground in the White Sands Missile Range in the American Southwest. Its heat shield, parachutes, and six airbags all will work in tandem to cushion the touchdown's impact for the two Navy-trained astronauts. It's not unusual for astronauts to extend their stay aboard the space station unexpectedly, sometimes for days, weeks, or even months. NASA has indicated that the Starliner spacecraft can remain at the orbiting laboratory for up to 45 days if necessary. However, the current situation introduces a moment of uncertainty and disappointment, adding to a series of setbacks experienced by the Boeing Starliner program, which is already significantly behind its original schedule. This incident also contributes to a broader pattern of negative publicity surrounding Boeing as a company in recent times. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated. And let's continue to explore together.